Richard Alexander, you made this film. Why the Terranova River? Well, the Terranova is, uh, is a very special river to, to a lot of people in this province, particularly in our, in our paneling community. A good friend of ours, Jim Price, who passed away three years ago, he was the first to run that river in kayak. Uh, the lower section was never run in a, in a canoe, so uh, we thought it would be a good thing to do to sort of pay homage to our mentor and our friend, Jim Price, be the first group to attempt it and do it in a, in a tandem canoe. Okay, so let's talk about the goals, because obviously these canoes are fairly heavy. Corey Locke, who you'll see in this film, uh, you were one of the four men on this trip. What was the goal? The goal was just to do that, to, to actually canoe the Terra Nova. Um, previously, it's, uh, you know, it was kind of pioneered with kayaks. Uh, people go out and play boat on, uh, on the river all the time with you know, short, maneuverable kayaks. But from a canoeing perspective, it's very technical, you know, requires a certain amount of precision. So we wanted to do it in long, fully loaded canoes. Uh, just the challenge of the weight and, uh, and to make those moves, that was the, the challenge for us. Right. That we because wanted. it's so easy in a kayak. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> it is. I, don't, I don't know. Sure. I'm not sure about that. Richard, what were some of the unexpected uh, challenges? Yeah. So if you're trying to do something that's that's difficult on a on a good day uh, in in a, in a canoe, you want to you want the conditions to be as good as they possibly can, which means that the water levels are at a perfect level. Uh, so when we we were waiting for the levels to drop on the river, and when we got there, they were probably about 50 percent higher than what we had hoped for. In the film, when you watch it, you can see the anxiety in the group. So uh, for rains. those of us who don't know a lot about rivers and rainfall, what does that do to the rapids? Oh, it makes them much larger, <laughs> larger, scarier, bigger, pushier. If you capsize in your canoe, you, you go for a longer swim, you can lose your boat, the boat can be hit a rock and get wrapped around it. So it, it takes the risk level up to, to, a, um, to a level where you know, the anxiety is high and you, you have to make big decisions about your, your own personal safety. So it's, it's, it's very challenging at high water. Now, you and your three compatriots, very experienced uh, in a canoe, what's it like to go down the rapids? It's exhilarating. You know, it's truly uh, exhilarating. It's exciting. One of the pieces that uh, is really satisfying is that you're a team. You're working with your partner. You become very cohesive as the trip goes on, and so you push yourself as a team. And then if you can make those must-make moves, it's very rewarding. So it's not just the water, it's teamwork. So. Now, with the, with the two canoes, so two men in each canoe, who decides which canoe is going to go down first? Uh, you collectively, as a group, you decide. But typically, it's the, uh, the more experienced of the group because, you know, they'll lead the way, they'll pioneer the route or the, the line, and then the other crew members will come down. Right, they can uh, go to school on, on your chute. Yeah, right. absolutely, yeah. There was one particular set of rapids that was particularly challenging. Can you describe that for me? We knew even before we showed up the river that this famous rapid on the Terranova, lower Terranova, is called Stuart Staircase. And it has a habit of making people go for a swim. We get on the river and then we're paddling for three days and all you can think about is, okay, the water's rising. We're getting closer and closer to Stuart Staircase. We got cameras there, so it was like we we're talking about running this rapid and then everybody's like, should we actually do this? Is this a really good idea or, or what, right? So I'll let the people who, uh, who see the film know what happens. Right. There's something called Kodak courage, right? When you actually have the cameras. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. So my, my wife always says, you know, how do you get Richard to do something stupid in a boat? Get two of his buddies to do it first, right? That's... <laughs> All right. Last question for you. Uh, you mentioned Jim Price in the beginning of this interview. You dedicate this film to him. Why is that? Jim is a mentor. We, we do this type of thing. It's a big part of our lives now because of Jim Price. Uh, like I said, he was the first person to run the Terra Nova in, in kayak, and uh, he passed away three years ago. Um, it's a very special river. Uh, Jim was very special to us, and the, the purpose, one of the big purposes of this film was to sort of document the, the first people like Jim and Mark Dykeman who, who went down the river and you know, linked those two generations and, and kind of thanked the previous generation for, for setting, us, setting us on this path. All right, I'll give some information about where you can actually see this film this Saturday here in St. John's. Last question to you, Corey. Would you do this again? Oh, most certainly. Absolutely. It's, uh, it's fun. It's actually near uh, as well. It's fairly close. It's only about two and a half hours away. Great river to go do a trip on and, uh, and challenge yourself. All right, well, Corey and uh, Richard Alexander, thank you very much, and uh, good luck with the film. Uh, thanks very much. Looking forward to people seeing it.